supposed to be here for like a week, but then uh, everything got shut down. So I'm yeah. here indefinitely. But, oh, but. you didn't go home because of this. Like you didn't go to Vancouver because of this. No, no, I was actually su- supposed to be in like Hamilton for like the whole summer, basically. And Sophie was going to come visit. And, but uh, but yeah, I, it, I was it was the Juno weekend because Sophie was in the Junos this year. But then as I was flying there on the layover the day of they canceled. Uh, Mace, were you, you were secretly happy about that, right? You're I was like, a little. You're like, yeah. I, I got to go to the Junos. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, no. I that was an Mace was going to be. Mace was going to be the eye candy. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah, in a pink suit. <laughs> so, are we set up, Patrick? Yes, we are good to go, and we good are go? we are currently live. So, if you're able to share it from the page to your page, do it. But if, if it's too much trouble, we're on limited time, right? Uh, yes, we are. We're on limited time. So what do you say we get started? Are you boys ready? I'm ready. Ready. Here we go. It's Friday at 420 Zoom edition. Not a Friday. Not even 420. Uh, glad to have you with us. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, introduce our panel as we always do. Way over in the middle of my screen, it's Patrick Capolino. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, Patrick. How are you, man? I'm very good. Yeah? Yes. Are you keeping well during this unusual event yes i'm i'm really enjoying it actually <laughs> I, i'm not looking for, every time i hear that the, the things are being delayed even longer i'm like perfect patrick's <laughs> like i was built for pandemics man yeah and the first week was nice because it was like a little break and then the second week it started to go a little crazy and then i've got on over that hump of like you know uh wanting to go back to work and now i'm, I'm just very comfortable collecting my <laughs> serb and staying home <laughs> well, you've got yourself you got yourself a bit of a routine going and you've got Serb. I mean, the government's paying you to stay at home. What could yeah. be better? Right. <laughs> Let's say hello to our good buddy, Manolis Zantanos. How are you, Manolis? Good, dude. I'm doing good. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm are you? Yeah. Well, I'm finished. I'm finished with the Internet, so that's good. I'm still, that's good. <laughs> you got up. hooked up with us. That That's very good. What room are you in, Manolis? Where are we? Uh, what are we seeing behind you there? This is uh, the basement of my oh, house. That's where you live. That's, well, this is where I spend most of my time. <laughs> this is where I release most of my fluids. Oh. <laughs> oh. We should have had an over-under on how long until Manolis mentioned masturbating. Well, it's, it's mental health for me. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. And please say hello to our very special guest on this Zoom edition of Friday at 420, Mr. Mace Galoni. How are you, Mace? Hello, I'm great. How are you, Mike? <laughs> That's a beautiful background, man. You're you're really you know how to use technology. Oh yeah, no, I'm just yeah. I I this is not a virtual background. I I actually blew up Manolis's album on the wall. Uh, that's how oh, I decorate. What? That's amazing. I just noticed that now. That's hilarious. <laughs> How'd you do that's that? That's of course. That's from the cover oh, of Girl Penis. It's a mural. Manolis, I painted it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You know, you know what? The, the, the unfortunate part is Mace's face is actually blocking the goofy eye. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Can you believe that? People, oh, that's fantastic. people think it's a fake picture. That is beautiful. Uh, <laughs> listen, now that we've uh, gotten through the introductions and uh, let's let's get on with the game, shall we? We've had to make some adjustments to Friday at 420 because, of course, we don't have our Plinko board. It's in lockup at the radio station. Uh, so uh, what I, I did, I just have, I have a pair of, of dice. Uh-huh, so okay. I'd be happy to roll on your behalf to find out what topic you have on this special Zoom edition of Friday at 420. So uh, if we're all set, uh, Mace, because you're our special guest, and I don't know how they l- wrote you into doing it. Uh, <laughs> where, 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 who do you owe money to? Uh, we're going to roll the dice, Mace. Oh, look at that, 12 out of the gate, double sixes. Well Prove rolled, it. Mace. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Uh, by the way, all of our topics today have to do with what we've all been living over the last few weeks. It really didn't. If somebody's entered the room behind yeah, Patrick, who is that? Lindsay. Lindsay McCracken. <laughs> I knew she uh, did that. <laughs> Mace, your first topic on Friday at 420. Uh, who do you wish you were in lockdown with? 
Who do you well, wish were in lockdown? Yeah, on top of the people that you're already in lockdown with, is there somebody you'd like to add to the group? No, I, I think <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite part about lockdown is not really seeing anybody. I like I like I'm, I love being with my girlfriend Sophie here, but if I had to be with anybody else, <clears throat> I mean. <laughs> I would feel sort of safe with Manolis because he's a bit uh, caveman-esque. And if yes. everything really went to trash, then he, I feel like Manolis could protect me. So probably Manolis. <laughs> Thanks I a would lot, protect Mace. Mace. You know what? It, if, <laughs> if they were coming for your toilet paper, Mace, Manolis would meet them at the front door. Why not me, Mace? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't feel as much protected by you as, like, I love you so much, Pat, but I also think you would eat me. <laughs> <laughs> if push came to shove. That's true. Not even if push came to shove. Yeah. <laughs> it would just just I'm sick of pasta today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm also Italian. You'd you'd do something. Yeah, that's true. Uh over to you, Manolo Santanas. Who do you wish you had with you in lockdown? Selma Hayek. Is that very what I was <laughs> That was easy, was it? I think about her all the time. <laughs> Locked and surprisingly, no surprisingly, she thinks about you. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what were you stalking her Instagram? I do stalk her Instagram, actually. <laughs> Bet you do. Yeah, she. I, there's certain things in my life that the reason I haven't killed myself, and she's one of them. So, okay. She, I, I should. Her name should be called Hope. Like in the, like I hope one day. I will be with her. And the two I, things. I, go ahead. Oh, I was like, I don't, I, I, I don't want to end it just in case. <laughs> just, just in, in case. case. You know, it's like, should I end it? Well, what if? So I'm, I'm, I'm living off of a what if I marry Selma Hayek. <laughs> I'm just I, gonna. I, I'm just talking. gonna say, Manolis, if Selma Hayek were to see this and see that awesome basement you have to offer her, she might be yours, buddy. She can be my sugar mama. <laughs> I was, I, I'm already on lockdown. I can do this. I, I can give up everything. I'll, I'll rub her feet every day, whatever she wants. Wow. Patrick Coppolino, who do you wish you had with you in lockdown? Uh, Mace Galoni. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can eat him. So I can eat him. He looks delicious. He looks delicious. <laughs> Make some uh, Mace, Mace Golanese. <laughs> oh, wow yeah mace galone the nays now patrick you're you're a pretty good cook yourself because i was gonna say I, i'm surprised maybe the other guys didn't yeah. say oh like a world-class chef to cook for me or it's like like there's something in lockdown that would be helpful yeah, but you're, but you, are, i haven't mastered uh, people yet every time i try it, it's, just, <laughs> it's too gamey <laughs> too <laughs> i don't know how I, to I thought it, maybe i gotta braise them i don't know it tastes like chicken <laughs> <laughs> yeah everything tastes like chicken but I, right. I would actually enjoy macy's company during this because he's probably freaking out a lot about everything are you yeah. are, you, are you mace he's a german i i'm i'm very calm if i stay in my bubble like I, i'm i'm thrilled i'm ha i'm enjoying this but anytime i have to go out of the house or or we get a package or something i like wipe everything down and i i'm pretty <laughs> I'm, I'm paranoid about it What's uh, what's the hairdo under the hat looking like, Mace? Oh, it's an afro. It's, it's that's why I'm wearing the hat. Yeah, it's getting it's, wild. I'm growing take a mullet. It off. <laughs> take it off. Oh yeah, he's, he I, is. He's growing a mullet. He is. Can you see it, Mace? You look like you're 12. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh, yeah, it's it's bad. It's the not, only. I, when it grows out, it grows up here and back here. So I also will get a mullet. I'll get like an afro nice. and a mullet at the same time. <laughs> the only thing I would say about Manolis's mullet is Manolis's mullet would be the only one that's party up front and party in the back. <laughs> yeah. All right, Manolis, I'm going to roll on behalf of you. And you got number eight. All right. Topic number eight on this Zoom edition of Friday at 420. Uh, are uh, the people you are uh, locked down with, are they driving you crazy? Is there anyone driving you crazy right now in your home? Yes, my parents are driving me crazy. <laughs> because, that was easy. Um, because they, 
my dad's now the weather's nicer. My dad's doing stuff in the backyard, but he can't go out like he used to because of this. He still goes wherever he wants pretty well for shopping. And like, he's, he's the only one in the grocery store without a mask. He's 92, but <laughs> doesn't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> but uh yeah i they they are fighting they're just fighting more it's like greeks fight anyways <laughs> greeks will stay together or just out of spite you know they're trying to, they're at that point like they're trying to see who's gonna last longer in life like we're just like <laughs> whoever doesn't uh die wins i think so yeah i'm they're driving uh, uh, manolas with, with, with regards to your dad is he a little bit like uh, virus doesn't scare me i mean is that like he just doesn't care he just, uh, he, he does, he does, I think, nah, I don't, I, just, I think he just thinks if he, he's Greek, I think if he puts, he'll like get lemon and he'll put lemon in his hand and he'll go, snorts it. Like, cocaine, he snorts it. like that. And he'll go like this all over his face and he's like, okay, let's go yeah. like that. Like he's he a thinks doctor. like, oh, he's a doctor. Yeah. My dad thinks oh. he's a doctor, but just put lemon on it. That's what it fixes everything that's beautiful man yeah so that's why i think he doesn't think he's gonna get it so i don't know uh mace galoni you're uh you're in lockdown with uh, with sophie your partner uh mm -hmm. is she starting to get on your nerves even just a little bit at this point no luckily uh um, no are you no, getting on I her mean, nerves yeah i think yeah. that's <laughs> not really not there's not much but i i I haven't, I don't have a good diet anyways. And then especially in quarantine, I've just been going crazy. So my, like, I just, uh, I've been like hot boxing the place with farts a lot. <laughs> That's enough to give anybody a, you know, make them a little yeah. annoyed. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, who's making you nuts? Uh, nobody. It's just me and, uh, me and Lindsay are here. And uh, we, Esther's, five. yeah, <laughs> Esther, uh, <laughs> goes back and forth between here and her mom's it's it's, it's okay been nice but yeah me and Lindsay work together uh all the time at levity comedy club and lounge 120 king street west, <laughs> downtown hamilton is um, there a point in plugging I, it? I had to get a plug in either way <laughs> okay. i don't know but uh yeah it's closed and we got broken into so i saw that <laughs> yeah. what was was just yeah, what? some some homeless people or something or uh yeah, we, yeah that's what it seemed like Based on like they didn't take anything other than some booze and they left moldy poo in the toilets. Was that them or? <laughs> well, I don't know. Manolis, Manolis was there. there like a week or two before helping me get stuff out of there. So it might... <laughs> <laughs> I, that didn't cross my mind. I'm like, maybe he forgot to flush. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it could have been worse. All right. Well, yeah. I'm glad everybody was safe and okay, Patrick. I'm going to roll on your behalf now, buddy. It's right. uh, number oh, number eight. You rolled the same as Manolas. How'd you do that? <laughs> wow. Let's just do now. Uh, I'm already faking it here. Here we go. <laughs> um, hey, so uh, Patrick, yes. the question for you on Friday at four twenty: something you have discovered uh, during this lockdown. Something you've discovered. Something on TV. Something on the uh, internet. Something uh, about yourself. Poker. Something you discovered. Poker. I, I become obsessed with poker oh really yeah i noticed you actually getting in one of the online games i because i'm friends with the with jamie stevens up yeah, in Brantford yeah. And he's the one that got me into it he he yeah. invited anybody to join the they do a tournament every monday and i did i did one and i had never really actually played poker i understood a bit of the game but so i did that tournament and um i enjoyed it so then i just started playing more and then i became obsessed i started like i didn't realize how involved poker was like there's so much math going on and so yeah. many things going on and it's actually you can actually get good at it it's not just luck you know so uh, right. uh i ended up getting i have like daniel negron who's a master class he's like one of the best players in the world he's from toronto um <laughs> yeah so like i just i'm gonna do that now i'm leaving comedy i'm doing both <laughs> <now>. <laughs> uh, just a, a, a quick follow-up patrick is Lindsay like trying to get her steps in in behind no, you or something? We, we we're like doing like a little reno renovation. We painted everything yesterday. Now she's putting shelves up. She's building shelves. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's the. We, I did, we just keep seeing her back and yeah. forth. I thought she was trying to get her steps in or something. Yeah, no, she's building <laughs> building shelves. She's the handyman in this house. Excellent. Well, because you're the poker player. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> you make the money. Apparently. What about you, Mace Galoni? Something you've discovered during this lockdown, something you didn't know before we went into it. 
Oh, uh, well, so, something I've kind of, I, I guess I knew about it before, but Amazon Prime, I, I've been using <laughs> a lot more. And yes. I, I feel like it feels so wrong. Like, uh, um, like I, I keep ordering things, but it doesn't, I feel like I'm, I shouldn't be able to do, like, I feel like a king just like willing these <laughs> yeah. things I want. And, and they, they're like delivered in a day. And I like pick the best rush delivery and then it gets there and I leave it at the door for three days anyways. So it's just, I'm like, <laughs> you don't want to touch I don't it. Know. Yeah. yeah. But I, I'm like, I don't know if I'm putting, it's, it's, I know I'm hurting someone by doing this, but I don't know how. <laughs> you, Mace. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mace, have you actually started looking on the Amazon site for something that you think there's no way they can get that to me in a day? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't experimented with that yet. But that'd be a fun game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Amazon Prime is amazing. I, I I think that a lot of people have been using it. Obviously, you know, we certainly would be in the in the framework of saying, you know, as soon as it's a, available, we got to get back to our local retailers and local business. But in the interim, I mean, it's the way you go, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, Manolis, oh God, I'm afraid to ask. Uh, something you discovered during lockdown, Manolis. That uh, yoga is hard. I've been I <laughs> started doing yoga once a day. There's a 30 day. This her name's Adrian something. 30 days of yoga, and I started doing it because it seemed like okay, it's meant for beginners. And I'm on day 12, and it's uh, it's I like it, but I realize how weak I am as a person. Like. <laughs> Like you think it's weird. You think like, oh, yoga, whatever. Like if you, if you're like, uh, if you go for a run, I, if you say like running for an hour or working out on weights for an hour or do yoga for, I would like yoga is the hardest out of those three. Like yoga, <laughs> if I, like, I was going to get in a fight with someone now, I'm like, yeah, hey, you do yoga. Okay. Let's do this. You know, like this is <laughs> you do this downward dog thing. And my shoulders are like, like burning. I'm like, no, I'm like, I, if I had to hold myself out on a cliff, I'd be over in a matter of minutes. So, <laughs> but I, you know what? I'm bet you, I bet you yoga is doing a, a world of good for your, your mental health during this. I, I do. I, I'm going to, like, I realize this is something that I'm probably going to do. I've already been, I've been meditating already. And, uh, but now I'm just going to, I'm going to try to do yoga once a day. How long did it uh, take you to realize that yoga has nothing to do with yogurt? <laughs> do you do greek uh, yoga greek yoga no, exactly I, 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 was, I was waiting for a snack at the end but it never came <laughs> uh the only thing i would say about about your uh that your discovery manolas mm -hmm. is you're saving a lot more money than mace is with this amazon prime and then patrick is losing money playing poker so you're the you're the winner here pal well i bought i bought something off of ebay the other day i spent 150 bucks you want to know what i bought oh what no did you get uh, an autographed picture for, of uh, Johnny Fever, Venus Flytrap, and Bailey Quarters from WKRP. <laughs> you, can just give, you can just give me your money if you don't want it, Manolis. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a waste of 150 for, bucks. It's, for, for those watching on Facebook or listening in on Funny A20, just so you know, WKRP, you can see the shirt there. That Those are three characters from the TV show WKRP in Cincinnati. Yeah. yeah, I spent, yeah, I mean, like total, like when I got converted, to 100, I'm like, I, I looked at this one picture I liked for like two, two weeks. And then one day, I think I was drunk enough on Rye that I justified it, like, <laughs> where I'm like, I deserve it. Did you guys notice Mace coughing? Was he coughing? Do you have the COVID, Mace? <laughs> I mean, I think I do like three times a day. <laughs> All right. But I, well, keep I your coughs to yourself, buddy. Uh, it's your turn. I'm going to roll for you. You've got uh, seven. Number seven for Mace Galoni. Uh, name a surprising thing, Mace, that you miss. What is something, I mean, we all miss going to restaurants, maybe performing stand-up, but give me something kind of surprising that you've missed since you've been in lockdown. You go, wow, I didn't think I would miss that. Uh, yeah, I, good question. I don't know, but a surprising thing. I I mean, all the things I miss are pretty uh, <clears throat> predictable. Like I miss my family. I miss uh, 
I mean, McDonald's still delivers. There's not really much I'm missing <laughs> in this life. Still I, delivered, so it's, <laughs> yeah, it's really other than seeing my family, I'm I'm living the exact same life you don't see that I anyways. was before. I no, well, I would have been right now. I would have been in Hamilton. Oh, really? Spending some time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's uh, that's the only thing. But why don't you come now? I don't know. I don't. I don't want to go to the airport. And then also, if I'm traveling, like I, I don't want to give it to them. That's something I, I'm like paranoid about going home, and then I'm the one that brings it in. Because otherwise, we live out in Binbrook in like this little compound in the middle of nowhere. Like they'll be fine if, if I don't go. You know? <laughs> yeah. uh, and that's excellent. So, uh, so really, as long as you have McDonald's, you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. I, I miss the thing I I do miss is going to the movies. Like I like the pop machines that you can put oh. like every flavor into. Yeah, swamp mix. That's my big yeah. That's that's my uh, big sacrifice in all of this. Manola Santanos, what is it? Uh, what might surprise? What surprised you that you miss since being in lockdown? What are you missing? Uh, human beings, like uh, like just uh talking to like friends and then going to levity and seeing my friends. And I think, uh, I, I realized how much more I'm, I've, uh, you know, you think sometimes like, Oh man, like, you know, life could be so much better. Like for so many reasons, if I've had this, I'm like, and now like, I feel like you really, like, not that I didn't realize it. But I feel like it's very more noticeable that I, life was pretty good before yeah. all this happened. And I'm like, uh, not that I was taking things for granted, but I'm, I do feel like, I think a lot of people are going to feel more appreciative, of just the little things and not really sweat the, what's, what's going on or how am I going to do this? Or it's like, you know what? Life's good. Like we're all alive and, and, uh, maybe once in a while I get laid and that'll be perfect. You know? <laughs> so, so Manolis, you've discovered yoga and philosophy apparently while you're on a pandemic. I've been reading too, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Like you think I thought, you know what I thought too? That goes like, oh no, I'm gonna masturbate so much more now. <laughs> you know, like there we go. Right? No, I've like I like I still do it when I first wake up. And it's weird talking to you guys because this is where I do my business, you know, like <laughs> so like like it's this weird talk being here and not having sex with my hands you know what i mean it's amazing <laughs> but i only do it like once in the morning and once before i go to bed like that yeah. uh, that's it that's my my routine like that and then now and all in between that, i'm like i'm doing yoga walk in the park reading books like what happened to me dude? He, he says oh, it dude. like he like he wants an award like i still only <laughs> masturbate twice a day <laughs> <laughs> like brushing his teeth <laughs> um i know that's a terrible image uh <laughs> Uh, Patrick, yes. Uh, what is it that might uh, maybe surprised you a little bit that you miss the most? Uh, I, I know you missed the regular things the other guys have highlighted, but is there anything that you kind of go, wow, I actually you know miss what? picking I up think... the dog's poo? No, not at all. I think uh, no. <laughs> mine might be the opposite. I'm surprised at how little I miss. Okay. I, like I said, I'm very comfortable right now. I... So it's a pretty good gig. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. don't have to be around people. I, I do. And miss you don't have to do any of the heavy lifting that Lindsay's doing right behind you. <laughs> yeah, she does all that stuff. Um, I, I do like miss. <laughs> I do miss going you're to broadcasting all the time. from a construction zone, man. <laughs> no, she's building a house. <laughs> um, and you're just like, oh, I really yeah. like lockdown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I do miss going to the club every day and, and yeah. seeing all the comics and stuff like that, but. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I'm more surprised <laughs> that that I'm okay with this. I, I'm surprised nobody said they missed doing Friday at 4:20. Uh, well, we're doing it right now. We, we should have been we should have been doing this the whole time. We should. We really should have. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, let's get a topic going for Manolis here. I don't know how much time we have left here. Probably not a whole lot. So, uh, number uh, five. Let me find a topic here that's different. Uh, Oh, no, that's the same as that one. I mean, there's very few uh, limited edition uh, lockdown topics. Oh, I don't want to ask Monolis that one. Uh, <laughs> oh, do we like Zoom? Yay or nay? Yeah. Yes, this is cool. Yeah, you like doing yeah. the Zoom? I prefer doing it at, in the studio, but this is good. This is, this is good. 
It's good for you. Did you meet Patrick? Like, obviously, you prefer for this, Patrick. Yeah. Look at. I can. Uh, I can. Hold on. Wait. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah! <laughs> I can go. I'm on a roller coaster. Look at this. You, you are going. It? Maybe if I want to oh, drive. Oh my god! Yeah. This I is can, yeah, this can, is fantastic. I, I got I got my license now. I can have a car. <laughs> How do I do this? This you is can't. Awesome. You can't, Manolo. Don't don't even bother trying. No. Oh, I guess where, <laughs> guess where I can go. I should have done this the whole time. Why didn't I do oh, this? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. We don't we don't want Manolo's bringing up other images from his computer because for sure they're going to have to do with his <laughs> masturbating. So it'll be all boobs, just boobs all around. <laughs> uh, listen, Manolo. So I want to close with this topic. Um, uh, been watching a lot of TV, seeing a lot of TV shows and stuff like that. Here's what I want you guys to come up with. You know how they mash songs together? Sometimes they'll mash. Artists will mash a couple of tunes together. I want two TV shows that you'd like to see mashed together. Think of two TV shows that if you could put the cast together, you might make an incredible TV show. Manolis, what uh, do you got for me? News Radio and WKRP, because they're both, I would like to see those two mashed together. Because There were some great characters on both of those shows, right? There's, yeah, like News Radio, people don't realize News Radio is basically WKRP and just ended with a different angle, but the same concept. Those news and really- that- also, Joe Rogan, right? That's where we uh, first got to see Joe Rogan was news Joe radio. Rogan, I, he's so weird to me because, he, like, he was so good on that show, but he's just not – he doesn't want to act anymore. He doesn't want to do movies. But, like, he was really good on that TV show. I, I'm really yeah. surprised that he doesn't do more stuff. He pretty much played himself. Well, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, maybe that's why I like it so much because I, I know that's all I can do literally uh, patrick Coppolino, <laughs> can you give me two tv shows you think might work mashed together uh breaking bad and malcolm in the middle <laughs> same it's just, dad it's just how oh, be great it's got to put his three boys <laughs> through college <laughs> <laughs> they, they, um, they did a like a fake um they did a spoof i don't know if it's saturday night live where he wakes up from a bad dream and and he's beside his wife from Malcolm in the Middle, and she's and he tells her what the dream was that he became a he had a nightmare that he became a meth dealer and okay it's really funny yeah <laughs> uh, Patrick could you go back to just your regular uh, the the shot of your room because I do I did enjoy watching Lindsay <laughs> renovating in her pajamas I thought that was nice <laughs> uh, Mace Galoni have you got two uh, TV shows you'd like to see together What do you think Uh. The, yeah, the the show would be titled "Too Hot to Tiger King." It's a <laughs> combination of "Too Hot to Handle," where they put a bunch of people on an island and they're not allowed to have sex or uh, masturbate, and just, Tiger King. Just just put Joe Exotic in there. Yeah, throw him in, and I feel like if he wasn't allowed to do that, then he would be even crazier and blow more stuff up and oh. uh, probably hire more. Uh, uh hits yeah on people so uh, yeah i i went down that tiger king rabbit hole man and that was just that was that is quite a journey isn't it oh my yeah. god awesome yeah <laughs> I, did you get, like i remember i got to the like second last uh uh episode and i i was like oh i thought that was great that was a good time i thought it was over and then i realized there's one more I'm like what else could happen <laughs> like <laughs> you're like that that, uh, that lady killed her husband it's it's just... I was expecting more to happen to be honest. Oh, I you were but let down by you yeah. Cuz I probably more. because of the hype, I guess, but I was like nothing really oh. happened. It's like oh, stuff the happened. Guy shot himself in the head with a gun by mistake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But... A woman <laughs> lost her arm from a tiger and and went to work the next day. <laughs> yeah. What do you need? Show me something. How dead are you? How dead are you inside, Patrick? I know none of that faced me. I'm like, yeah. So like, what? Yeah, it seems like it was like a Tuesday. <laughs> it just, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, you know what? It, 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 it was pretty fascinating. I was reading earlier this week uh, that they've, I guess they've signed. They, they're, they're doing an eight episode TV thing for uh, t- Tiger King, and they've signed Nicholas Cage to play that's, Tiger King. He's as real? nuts as Joe Exotic. So, and that's real. <laughs> Yes. Awesome. So Nicholas Cage oh. playing Tiger King might be pretty cool. I thought David uh, David Spade was going to get that role. Oh, yes, Joe Dirt. Yeah, he already was <laughs> Joe Exotic. 
Uh, the two TV shows I thought would be uh, interesting put together uh, would be uh, Friends and Seinfeld. That and uh, that would be a hell of a coffee shop. Seinfeld. <laughs> Sign Friends. The, the, the dialogue. Uh, has anyone seen Jerry's new stand-up that just got released to Netflix this week? No, but I heard it's awesome. No. I heard it was No? Good. Okay. I didn't know that he time. did. That's, that's awesome. I saw yeah. it, but I haven't watched it, no. Okay, you should check like that to... out. Um, you guys talked to me a little bit about missing uh, stand-up comedy. It turns out uh, Zoom, because it's our, our first one, Zoom has extended our time. So we've got a few more minutes here. Oh, nice. uh, so Manolis, talk to me a little bit about uh, missing stand-up comedy, buddy. Uh, yeah, I've been watching my old clips and going through them and finding stuff to put online and stuff. But I, as, as I watch it, I do really, like, yeah, I definitely, like, um, going to a mild depression of like because your adrenal glands get flared up from just being on stage and stuff but uh yeah i can't wait to get back to it like life life means nothing without telling jokes so i don't know but uh i've been i have been watching a uh it was on netflix a friend of mine also comedian uh duncan trussell he has this uh cartoon on netflix called midnight gospel and basically he takes his podcast with for certain people that he talked to and turns it into dialogue on the cartoon. And it's incredible. It's like one of the best things I've ever seen. So I recommend that for everybody. That but, was awesome. Uh, Mace, I know you hadn't been doing as much uh, stand up because you've been doing a lot of work uh, on uh, the TV side and doing a lot of writing. Uh, so uh, what, what's going on with that particular project right now? Are you still involved with that? Yeah. Uh, I uh, like, we should be going back when it starts up again, but I, I don't know exactly the timeline or anything like that. Um, but just that they've reached out and like, uh, it, it's going to happen again, I guess. I just don't know. I don't know when, uh, we'll start, but like in terms of, uh, stand up, I, I've, uh, I'm not really, luckily I'm not missing it kind of at all. Like I, this is, <laughs> It's really made me question if I even like it because I'm loving this <laughs> life so much. Like I love being retired essentially. Right. And I just, I feel like an old man and I just have little hobbies that I do. And I, I'm very happy with that. So I'm actually luckily not missing stand up. Uh, and the TV show we were talking about is this hour has 22 minutes. So what, basically what you're saying is there's another season that's going to come and it's just a matter of when they can put it together and get you guys all in a room and start producing it. Right. Yeah, and I, I think I think the plan is to do it on the same timeline, so the season would start again in September. But I <clears throat> I don't know for sure. Okay, but that's awesome, man. That's it's such a good show, and you you do a, oh, a great job. Thanks. And I, you know I've seen some of the the bits and stuff you've been involved with, and it it, it really it's so timely. And I, I love the fact that it turns around so quick on what's happening in the news, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, luckily, our new producer this like this past year was really adamant about trying to make it more uh current and just changing the production schedule so that we could like kind of film more stuff right before it aired or yeah. whatever but uh i i do like it the only thing that i have a beef with the show about is that i've pitched hamilton correspondent manola santano several times and it hasn't <laughs> taken yet but i would love that they uh, they need to they just need to be around me a bit they know they don't know me yeah. like you do <laughs> yeah, I know. For real. Like, I, I I, truly think it would be brilliant. Once they see him corresponding from his parents' basement, they're going to love it, man. I, what I know. Yeah. <laughs> this the is guy, the audition. Wait, what's the guy that we both know that the funny story? What's the guy from? Oh, Mike. Mike Allison. Hey. And he has a great story about you. First time, tell, can you tell the first time he, he met me at Halifax Yuck Yucks? Is that the story? Yeah. Can I say, like, is there stuff I can't say on here? Like, Hell no. Don't say, just don't, don't swear. That's all. Okay. Well, yeah, no, I know, but I don't know. If, all right. Basically, uh, my, <laughs> like Mike Allison, who was two years ago when I started was the head writer. He, he uh, had, he used to do stand up as well. And he, his first gig ever in a in a yuck yucks was with Manolis and Manolis <laughs> was on tour out east and uh they had never met before and Manolis walks up to Mike and just goes oh man I smashed so much pussy out here <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
classic Manolis. Yeah. <laughs> and he tells Mace this story that I don't even remember saying this to him, but I probably said it. Like, I, that's like, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I probably sound said that. Like you. <laughs> well, because came... well, it sounds better than I masturbated so many times in my hotel room here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I was gonna say is is that a is that a euphemism for masturbating? <laughs> yeah, guys, no, I, I I do. No, okay, I masturbate. <laughs> Patrick Coppolino, I know you're missing levity, and you do so much great work there, helping uh, to manage the facilities and stuff. But talk to me a little bit about performing on stage and how you miss that. Um, yeah, it's kind of like what Manolo said. Like you, you you watch stand up and you you get that itch to get on stage and you can't. So yeah. it makes you miss it a little more, but uh, I'm also on the same page as Mace where I'm kind of like also not missing it at all <laughs> at the same extent. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I also just miss being around it. It was, yeah, it was fun. That's awesome. But I haven't uh, written guys, anything. You haven't written anything? <laughs> no, I thought for, I'm like, this is yep. perfect. Everyone's going to have so much new material. I bet you nobody's written anything. May, may I have, <laughs> I've been writing and I got, I've been practicing my new stapler bit, Mace. I think I got it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh my God. That, sta that stapler bit is brilliant. And that so that might be the reason I haven't been doing stand up anymore. I heard that bit and I was like, stand up's done. He finished it. That's, <laughs> the, that's the, the greatest bit. Well, we're going to have to all gather together again uh, in the very near future. Maybe get Manolas to share with us the stapler bit because now we're all dying to know what the hell's going on with the stapler. I'll tell. I'll do it next uh, next episode. Ne next episode. All right, uh, guys. Uh, let's uh, just go around the horn. Maybe you have uh, some way people can share their thoughts with you, Patrick Capolino. Uh, you got something you want to share with uh, us? Yeah, join my uh, poker stars club. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember what the club ID is, but, uh, but Patchco89 on, on Poker Stars. Let me take your money. Lose you money to Patrick on Poker Stars. Uh, <laughs> Mace Galoni, how do people follow you on social media? Uh, they can, it's just my name, but also I don't post anything. So <laughs> it's a waste of your time. If you want to uh, help me, then listen to my album. And by that, I mean an album that I own. Girl Penis by Manola Santos. <laughs> oh, you were that silent investor, were you? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manola Santos, what do you want to say, bro? I'm going to get Patrick, hopefully, to help me today. I, I haven't told you this, but I want to take my cassette tape and a t-shirt and a couple things, sign them. I'm going to put them on eBay and see if anybody will buy it. <laughs> so my Girl, girl Penis uh, cassette tape will be for sale on eBay soon. So if you want to buy one. You're trying to get your 150 bucks back? Is that what you're doing? I'm trying, yeah. Well, trying to, yeah. <laughs> a lot of money. Uh, boys, this has been a lot of fun. I appreciate you taking some time out of your very busy lives <laughs> uh, to yeah, join us for great. a little Zoom Friday at 420 on Funny 820. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we'll try and put it together again next week, and we'll have another one. Mace, be well and say hi to Sophie for us. Thanks, I will. Okay, too, Manolis, take care. And Patrick, go give your partner a hand there. Lindsay was just working her ass <laughs> off, man. Yeah. Go lift something or hammer something into the wall. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Take care. All right, Love see you. Bye. Okay, be well.